Hi everyone, welcome to the introduction to Singularity and Obtainer. Before starting to use all the episodes and learning how to use it, you need to have Obtainer available or Singularity available. You will see better in the introduction the difference between Singularity and Obtainer. So in this setup, you'll see how to do that and make it so that you have it available. On uh, the left here, you see the web page with the setup. On the right, two terminal windows. The upper one is on a shared cluster, the uh, CMS LPC at Fermilab, uh, and where I'm a regular user, which is administered by other people. And uh, uh, I will try to see in this cluster, I have Singularity already made available for me. So you can try Singularity to touch the distribution. If it's there, you're set. You can use that and uh, you're fine. Uh, the other option is uh, to try uh, to see if you can run unprivileged Singularity for CVMFS. On some uh, sites, CVMFS is not installed by itself, but CVMFS is available and you can copy this uh, whole line to check if CVMFS is available and you can run Singularity in unprivileged mode. So in this case, CFS is available, and there is a newer version of Singularity there, of Obtainer, and uh, uh, this command set up for me this uh, newer version. So this is when it's already available. Now let's try in this other machine. This is uh, a VM uh, a Fermilab, and I'll try And on this machine, I don't have Singularity. Second option, I'll try to see if I can use it and privilege from CFS. No, it printed unable to run Singularity via CFS. So I have no other option than install it myself. So in this machine, I'm a regular user. I'm not root, so I cannot go with the native installation that's here at the beginning. If you do have root access, we do recommend to click on this link and go on the uh, obtainer page and find the instruction for your specific platform to install it. Now on this machine, I do not have root at uh, this, so I have only this uh, uh, last option available. Uh, this machine is uh, Scientific Linux, so it's a uh, Dart base, so uh, username spaces if username space is enabled, so that a uh, requirement for having a fully functional and privileged singularity. It is enabled, so I'm all set. In case it's not, uh, here there are instructions on how to make a uh, that for you. So you need either already a previous singularity installed or username spaces in order to be able to run. Without either of the two, you will not be able to run. So uh, here I have user namespaces, so let's go back to step number two. I will be installing uh, Singularity on, on previous Singularity on this machine. Here is the command. Uh, first, I have to choose an install directory, so I will make it my obtainer directory. So I'm in my home directory. Uh, I'm going to the obtainer directory. And, um, and now I'm installing Singularity. installing the current directory. This command is downloading and extracting a relocatable binary for uh, Singularity. Um, sing uh, Singularity obtainer are Go application, so the binary will include the application and the Go run runtime. Here is everything. So I want to add that to the path. So I will 
have it. check and I have Obtainer 114 installed. So I'm set and uh, I can go ahead with the remaining episodes of this course. Thank you everyone for watching and enjoy the course.